oh shit. That is the uh, Bones 5 Live introduction by Cameron Bezadpour. Hey, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> you should practice. You did it well. Bravo. It's my first time. You did it well. So much easier with a high table too, because I don't have to duck walk. So, so low. The trick is to turn around at the base of the stairs and come back up, not go backwards. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My first time. I, uh, just, I didn't know. You shattered that third wall. Hi, everybody. It's that. Friday, December the 4th. This is the Bones 5 Live Update. Thank you for joining us. I'm joined today by super talented folks, Bobby Jackson, Jason Weeby, Gene Van Horn, and Michael Proctor. Say hello, everyone. Hi, hello, hi, everyone. everyone. All right, all right. In a true Mel Brooks fashion. Um, so today, this setup probably looks very similar to last week, but there are some differences. There are some new things on the table. Some things we kept because they're just cool. Uh, the ship makes a great background prop, you know, so, um, you know, the sea giants on here, those things like that. But there's obviously some very new things like the Mandapar Pass. Um, we've got, mm, you know, dips. the, uh, the loop golem. <laughs> we've never seen the loop golem before. He's new. Um, yeah. Some other options. There's a jellyfish. There's all kinds of cool stuff on here. So Ooh, dips. we'll just sort of do what we did last week. I'll sort of go over some, uh, some very broad terms of some things. And then if you guys in chat want to see some specific things, just uh, give us a shout out here and then we'll, uh, we'll put them on the, um, the turnaround. Uh, John's running the camera over here and then Justin's in the control room. Say hello, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, yeah, someone asked about the catablepus on... Um, uh, it was somewhere. So we, yeah, we'll show the catablepus today too. Uh, we've got the overgourd, Mike Disney's overgourd out here somewhere. There it is. Um, is it <coughs> repaired? Me. That is an actual production model. So we didn't need to okay. repair anything. That is an actual production model. Um, so Collins Jason hasn't a, been close to it. No, no, no. Uh, Jason did a fine mm. job translating his art. It's really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so here we go. I'm going to sort of just sort of gloss over some things before we start. Guys, anything you guys want to bring up or ask about or talk about before we get going? Goats. No, was there supposed to be something? Goats. No, there's the no pledge manager? No goats? Well, uh, we'll talk about the pledge manager here in a little bit. Um, all right. And Bobby, your goats are on the bridge. All right. All three goats on the bridge. Maybe we'll do a close-up. We'll do a little turnaround of the bridge and the troll. What do you mean, maybe? Okay, well, we'll do it. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. Let's get a close-up of the goats. Pushy, pushy artists, I tell you. All right, here we go. So uh, here we go. Back over here. Enthusiastic. Excuse me. What did you say? I'm just enthusiastic. Just enthusiastic. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. So again, more corset stuff. Um, here's the dragon lion. We didn't show him last week. The dragon lion. He's really cool. We'll do a close up of him later. Some more of Julie's um, mounted dread wraiths. Those are really cool. I'm gonna keep saying it. I don't give a damn. Um, it's so cool. The gym dragon. You need to get awesome. a T-shirt. It's so cool. Here's the Jim Dragon um, <laughs> by Christine Van Patten. Now, this is a gray model. The one that we uh, ordered uh, is supposed to be clear, but this is a first shot in gray. Uh, I hope that the ones we get are going to be clear because that was the plan the whole time. <laughs> but um, just paint it clear if it doesn't work out. <clears throat> um, let's you see. You that special clear paint. Yeah, the clear paint. Yeah. Here's, here's the Luke Golem. Speaking of clear, here's the Luke Golem by Chris Lewis. This turned out really good. Fantastic. I didn't say it. Um, super cool. Awesome. Super cool. Um, let's see. Here are, here's the, uh, the Dragon Slayers option um, by Bobby and Bob Rodolfi and Sandra Garrity. Really neat. Here are the hand effects in clear, except for the disapproving hand. That is, uh, that's the one we had last week. A couple of Chris Lewis's alligator guys, more mouselings. We've got some pieces for some of the options. Uh, Charnel Pit of the Ghoul Queen. We have Galagard, more of that. We have uh, Shadows over Ravenholm, some of the characters from that. Two of the spiders from the uh, Spiders of Imrith Cole. Here's Ron, Jason. Nobody Wimby's... can hear you speaking. Oh, they can't? Oh, no. look, there's a puppy. Let's just stop the episode and just <laughs> look at Willow the puppy. Willow the puppy. Aww. She's so, so cute. Puppy. She just woke up, so she's in her most tame state still. Can you put the puppy next to the pirate ship so people get a good... <laughs> get some good scale. <laughs> good scale. Hey, just hand it over to um, Ron. Just hand it down to Ron. <coughs> I will. Here. Here. Just... Here. <laughs> 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 
That would have been perfect. Where's your producer on that? Yeah, I know. Uh, Justin, can you... supposed to get an identical puppy. Can y'all hear uh, me? Uh, yes. Okay, Gene, Gene It was the me? puppy. It was the puppy. Oh, That's why they couldn't oh, hear you. I, you don't, don't confuse me with that. <laughs> There's a difference between not hearing me and not paying attention to me. That's a totally different kind of story. All right, uh, people. to the second. People, look at this. Stop looking at the fuzzy thing. Look at this. Um, Willow's got her own show coming on next week on, on uh, the Reaper channel here on Twitch. Um, yes. yep. All right. Let's call so, puppy Bogart from now on. Uh, there's a couple of Jason's uh, yokai. There they are right there up front, the yokai. Um, hey, Justin, you've got a pic picture of the painted yokai. I sent you that today. Did you? Let's see here. Yeah, I did. Did you yeah. do that? It's called you, Yokai the Group or something like that. You did something like that. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's pull it up let's... real quick. There it is. Look at that. Wow. Michael painted those. Uh, it's missing awesome. the otter, correct, Jason? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, we need to get Michael and otter I remember so I those. can complete my set. Yeah, there's the there's the yokai. Those are fun. Yeah, I need to get a uh, copy of the otter. Yeah, I got a plastic one right here. I'm gonna yeah. send it to you. Um, let's see. Okay, so uh, Jason's uh, yokai option. You can pick that up in the pledge manager. We'll talk about the pledge manager later. Look at this right here. It's Bobby Jackson's uh, townsfolk that he did. Oh. All twenty of them. All Exciting. twenty of them. Awesome. There they are. Bobby, you can delete that shill account off Facebook now. We're showing the townsfolk. All right. It's about bloody time. Being harassed by Bobby's shill account going, how come they never show the townsfolk? They must be hiding something. Something must be wrong. Production issues. Da, 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 da. No, we just, mm -hmm. Bobby had them all. I sent Bobby all the copies. And he's been sitting on them and looking at them and playing with them. Um, well, you could ask Facebook to put one of those uh, warnings on it or an explainer. I'll have kind. to do that. I'll have to do that. Yeah. Um, here is more of Tom Mason's encounter in the dwarf. King's Crypt. Um, yeah, you gotta show those off. Up. Those are great. Close up. All right, we'll, we'll, get yeah. those. we'll get to those. We'll get to those. We'll get to those. Here is uh, Jason's jellyfish from Dark Depths in clear. Yeah, oh, cool. let's see. Goodness gracious. What do we get? Oh, the trebuchet. Oh, we got the trebuchet. Oh, look in, at that. In, in bones. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What's in the clear plastic the, that's holding all the miniatures together? No, oh, I'll, get to, I'll show you that itself. here in just a second. Um, here's the encounter of Mandapar Pass. Um, man. I, we'll to have to do close up on this, but Jason, yeah, this I was is wondering how that turned out. We resized this. Remember, we originally had it a different size. Right. We went bigger. It's man, this is cool. You don't want to step on this in the middle of the night though, because it'll go through your foot. And the altar, the man, oh, that's, that's, that's so. Cool. They're really neat. And here's this thing is a slug. It is a big chunk of plastic right here. Really, really cool. And then back it's around, a, it's a mountain or a yeah, hill yeah. at least. Uh, the Shawgoth yeah. we showed him last week. Really neat. And then this is, um, we'll show these. This, this is the hench men and the hench women all in one little box set. So after, the, after Kickstarter ends and we do all our fulfillment, if you want to get the hench people, uh, they're going to be in one set. You'll get all 13. You get the eight henchmen, the five hench women in one set. It'll be a little box set. Really, really cool. Uh, and this is the trade that these guys are going to come in. And I've already broken one. That's these are the, really neat. Yeah, these are the... the, the we need yeah. a close-up of that. I'll get you that. These yeah. are the polyurethane masters they sent us, and I immediately went and broke one. So, um, I, but the, someone sculpted them too thin, so I'll blame it on the sculptor. Um, yeah, you know, you know how it goes. Incompetent. <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of just kind of a, a, a smattering of some of the things we added to the table. There's some of the stuff from last week we didn't change. Uh, it's just fun to look at all this, all this cool stuff. So, uh, let's. Me go and the first thing we're going to look at the turnaround of is the catablepus. Someone asked last week, can we get a turnaround of the catablepus? And heck yeah, we can. We're going to do this right now. All right. John's got that. Oh, look how good he looks. That's neat. Yeah. That's cool. So we're going to need some scale here. Where's a, where's a good scale? Oh here? yeah. I'm sorry. That's super cool. Where's Sir Four scale? There he is. There. I don't have that Sir Four awesome. scale again, but here's an undead dude um, who's close enough. Oh, okay. Gosh. So this was designed by Izzy Talon Collier and sculpted by Andy Peeper. Andy did this in green stuff. I think it was his last green model he did. Mm. I love that. That's the textures. Great model. Yeah, it's really cool. I'm sorry, I don't care. People say I say cool too much or whatever, but I think he's really cool. Super cool. 
Super Jeez. cool. Yeah. Get your bingo card out. Um, yeah. I think hyper cool. Hyper cool. Yeah, cool. I can do that. Uh, Ultra cool. So there's the, uh, the catablepus. Um, all right, now we'll show, let's see, we'll pull up the old dragon lion. I don't like this undead guy for scale. I don't really care for him so much. No, get Star for yeah. scale. I don't have one. Yeah, it'd be interesting. It, it would be great if you had a reference <laughs> I, I miniature <laughs> to use. You know, why don't Hashtag. you just take a break and walk over and get one? Okay. We'll keep I this thing wait. spinning while I go get one. Um, hashtag not professionals. There we go. There's the dragon line by Julie Guthrie. Um, wow, how did you big know? is that? Well, if we only had some scale, we could show you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the undead guy is better than nothing. Hold on. What about I got a goat? Got, how goat? about a goat? Uh, here, wait, here, yeah. I got one. Here. <laughs> Here's Terror the Silent. How about that? That's a good classic Reaper okay. sculpt. There you go. Yeah. She could ride it. Oh, yeah. That's how big it is. Uh, what? That thing that is short work of a goat. Why did I get a funny so, look for? Someone it? clip that. <laughs> she could write it. Oh, no more, no more. This this show already produces some drops that we've used. Let's. There you go. Okay, there's your goat. Oh, there's right. the goat. That's a goat reference. That is uh, Big Billy Goat Gruff. That's Daddy Goat. Yeah. That's Daddy Goat. Yeah. There he comes. There you go. He's about to get at. Wait, can she ride yeah, the Daddy yeah. Goat as well? Um. <laughs> okay, oh. so there you go. We'll leave that going. Okay. Uh, let's. Let's go. Let's do this. Justin. I feel oppressed. Justin, how's your t how's your teeth doing? It, Whoa! It's not till Tuesday. Oh, okay. that's, that's cool. Right. That's right. Yeah, this that is. That is cool. That's really neat. Yeah. Okay. This is the Jim Dragon, um, sculpted oh, by Christine it. Van Patten. Right. Yeah. Yeah, dibs. And we'll take That's the little cool. goat away here. Um, you should need to leave the goat on for reference. Well, I think we'll think we've given away so many <laughs> terror of the silence that people know what that is. Uh, Someone's and complaining the goat is not anatomically correct. I don't know about that, Bobby. Is that true? What's that? Well, if Bobby sculpted it, probably has a cloaca. <laughs> well, um, that no, wouldn't really like be that. correct. Unless... Not like that weird little cyber dog that Weeby did with the. Oh my God! <laughs> what cyber dog? Yes, there, there was a third eye on that. That's yeah, yeah, yeah there I was. I couldn't tell which end was the front. <laughs> <laughs> boop boop. Uh, All right, he, Jackson. <laughs> All right, so there's the. Sorry. Let's get back on track here. Here's the. That's the Jim Dragon, Christina. Great job. Hey, you know what? If you got the core set, you got all those figures. The Catablepus, the Dragon Line, and the Gym Dragon all in there in the oh, core set. Did that. What a steal. All of those are in there? Yeah. All of those. Guess what else is in there? Guess what else is in there? This guy. This guy's in there. That's, this guy. in there. That's cool. Oh. That's this cool. is the Loot That's... Golem by Chris Lewis. And he's just a bunch of... Pay hey, extra shipping? Would you double the order? Uh, no. Maybe for you, Jason. Oh. Um, All right, good. So this way you can go, and I think when we did Kickstarter, oh, there goes my echo again, Justin. Um, when we did the Kickstarter, um, people in the, in, the, all the, the, in the comments were like, you do, should this, do this guy in clear so that you can do the paint the gems and stuff. So clear it is. There you go. So his big yeah. face gem there, you can just paint that red, paint the rest of it opaque, and you have a really cool gem golem. Ah, hey. Now let's show something I know people have been wanting to see for a long time. Ready? Sure. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's, that's cool. neat. That, looks, that, that looks is Mike great. Disney's um, Overgord. Overgord. The Overgord. Mike designed that for us, and Jason sculpted it and translated the hell out of it, Jason. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. It was a fun piece to work on. Yeah, it was really neat. Mike, if you're watching, Mike's in here, right? Um, yes, he is. There he is. Uh, awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. That is super cool. Turned out so yeah, good. That is cool. I love the, the big main face, the big main pumpkin. That's great. Jason, you mm -hmm. did a really good job on that. Um, yeah. Good teamwork, guys. Good teamwork. Good job, Mike. Good job, Jason. Really cool. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Mike. And... Guess what? How can you get this? It's in the corset. Get it in the corset. 
All these yeah, figures we've shown you so far in the course. Too. Yeah. It's almost it's almost embarrassing how much stuff is in that course. I know. For so little price. I know. I know. <laughs> Um, the you, you need to pay Jason more. I know. I'm telling you guys, 120 bucks. Oops. Uh oh. Hey, I just died. Can you no, hear me? You didn't it? Can you hear me? For yeah. real? No, you didn't. I can yeah. still hear you. I can't hear myself. Oh, your battery's not in your tuga. John, come grab some here. Huh? His tuga battery's died, guys. Give him a second. Okay. His you can hear me? Tuga battery. Yeah. While you're while you're running to uh, grab oh, a battery, he's where he got all that pick energy up from. Third floor scale. Oh. Connected up to my a tortuga. tortuga. Okay, okay y'all can hear. Me. I just can't hear you guys. Yeah, there correct. You, okay, right. there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're a tortuga. Okay. <laughs> John, right. what did you just so do? To we'll Ron? keep looking at the overboard for a minute while John uh, changes my batteries. <laughs> oh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Somebody right. wants to know how so, they can okay. add that. They yeah. close their pledge manager. <laughs> somebody, I uh, want to put him in the right way. Somebody clip just, this. John, just stay down. <laughs> Oh, uh, you got. What's, you what's have to go and buy another core set. <laughs> yeah, There's all so, smiles after. I'm that. sorry. So what I was saying was, Unless it's a, is it a standalone? That the core know. set is a. If you back the Kickstarter, is 120 bucks. It's a little more if you're a late backer, but still a steal because all this stuff we're going to show you right now is all in the core set. Um, everything in the table on the table. No, not everything on the table, but the stuff I'm going to show you now until I tell you otherwise. Uh, let's look at the three spell effect hands. Those are. Oh, those are cool. There you go. And they're... Beef in the Hall wants you to bring back the Bikini Girls. Yeah, well, no. that was then. Yeah. This is now. <laughs> yeah. You got to go I back to 1996. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. You want to... We can put the, uh, ben, uh, the uh, uh, Hand of Disapproval in there, too, if you want. Now, that's... This one's in, in gray. It's not in clear. Uh, but when you get it, it'll be in clear. So when you fail your saving throw, when you roll a one, you can plop down uh, the disapproving hand spell and show your dungeon master what you, you think about We it. need to send Rhonda a bunch can of those. Can you to Frank? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Neat. Really, really neat. I like Digging those, those guys. Who, did Kevin and Daryl Daryl. Daryl Robert sculpted Darryl all those. Did these. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. yeah. He did a great job. Yeah. yeah. They're really cool. Those They're really awesome. cool. Yeah, the translucent's um, really nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else. What else have I got here? Um, I think that's all the new stuff I'm going to show for the core set today. I could be wrong. I can't think of anything. Um, Chad, is there anything you else you guys want to see? There, do you? The, the troll <clears throat> with the bucket on his head. Um, we had those last week, but I took them off the table for this week. Oh, okay. But we still got it. I can probably go pull it here in a little bit. All right, let's oh, go. No, don't worry about Somebody it. Somebody wants to know let's if the Reaper store is open. The local, the, the actual physical store is not open. Curbs. Curbs. Oh, there is curbside right. service? Yeah. If you contact right. Bill through, I think, the Facebook page, right? Bill at Reapermedia.com. Bill at .com, you can get stuff uh, curbside. But the store's not open for browsing. Uh, the Goblin One Man Band. Okay, let's see. Let's find our little goblin guys. Let's put those over here. Okay, here's a few of those little goblins. Oh. I don't think you need Terra, but there you go. Can you see those? Okay, there's the wizard, um, the fighter, and then there's the one man band. That's cool. There he comes. Who did these? Daryl did these. Daryl. Daryl did these too. Terrell's yeah, that's amazing. He just picks it up. He is. Yeah. Yeah, he did. He's he great. is a. He's a. Uh, he's and a skater he's too. He's painting now. He is more a for us. Yeah. He's a skater. Skate. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's uh, got that double threat thing going. So there's those guys. Those are neat. Let's show. Um, these are in the corset too. That's not. I think there's five of these guys. We only have three, but there's five of those guys. Um, someone asked a few minutes ago about daimyo. We took all the daimyo off the table. Um, Mortar Man uh, 130, that's a interesting, the shocker spell effect. Um, the, uh, we took the... Uh, yeah, what is, tell us more about that, Ron. I don't know. I, I imagine it's some sort of a signal like, like this, like spooky, like, like shock and scaring and stuff like that. Ah, uh, yeah, um, that's probably it. Yeah, that's what You're it is. You're right. How about Let's look. the wall of basking at the wall of thorns? Oh, the Wall of Thorns, I think I took those off as well. Here, someone's oh, asking okay. about the sirens. Um, oh, those are nice. That, that effect that you're getting on the, the camera is really cool. Let's see if yeah, we Yeah, it's not. It's, it's green skier -y. Yeah, 
There you go. Spooky. Those are neat. Those are really neat. Um, now, throughout the Kickstarter, uh, there, I mean, I love everything, but there are some things just, some things just jump out at me just like, uh, that I just love. I just absolutely love and can't wait to get my hands on. Um, and this is one of them right here. This is the Minotaur from the Greek Odyssey. Oops, sorry, I dropped a siren there. I, uh, I just love this figure. That earliest ones we did, I think. Yeah, it was a. It was one of the early ones. For this, for this. Yeah, one. I love it. I think this is a great that Minotaur. That's cool. I haven't seen yeah. that before. That's really nice. He's really cool. He's on a two-inch base, mm -hmm. so he's a great large critter for your favorite role-playing game, whatever that may be. Um, yeah, love that model. Good job, Jason. I really like that. Thanks. Um, that is super cool. Dude. Yeah, really, really neat. Let's show. Let's show this. Let's see, am I asking for anything else? Um, I don't have any gar. We don't. We didn't put any gargoyles in to Bones Five. However, uh, I would love to do some more gargoyles for Bones Six. All right. Let's see this. Let's do this. This is one that doesn't get a lot. Didn't get a lot of love during the Kickstarter. Ah, uh, Bob. Oh yeah. Rodolfi. This is Bob's. Now this isn't all the pieces. This is mm. because I didn't. We don't have all the pieces yet. But this is the. Um, what a chance. Tilt that up a little bit so people can see into that. Okay. That's can you do that, John? Well. Oh. Um, yeah. Hold on, just a minute. Let me see if I can do that. Yeah. This it's is. There's the, amazing work in there. It's hard to see. Um, is that miniature in the back uh, fully clothed? Yep. So this is the charnel pit yeah. of the Ghoul Queen. Yeah. Now look at that. This is really cool. And then the bones come out. So if you just want to have just, just the well, you could cut, and it's real thin, yeah. so you can cut that out if you wanted to actually make a, a pit out of it. And then the, the bones just sort of snap right back into place. I mean, yeah, you want to they, practice painting on bones. There you go. This will be a good place to do it. Um, speaking of, and then. That bone, just by itself, that bone base would be nice. for. Yeah, it's really neat for good bits. Yeah. I love the, the heroin. That was a conversion for, off one of the ReaperCon VIP minis. Uh, Bob changed out the, uh, the, the head to a torch. So the OSL effects that you can get with that are going to be really neat. I see this. You like OSL effects. I do. I think seeing her, this character, in a, uh, that her coat, like she's in the rain, and that's like a wet overcoat with the OSL from the torch, could get some really cool stuff. Now, speaking of cool figures, oh, sorry, I, that was a stupid thing to say. Um, some, nice of my favorite, some of my favorite figures, the, here's a figure here in this Kickstarter, which is this dude here. This is the male victim, right? The dude that needs to be rescued. He's a little out of focus, but um, let's right. see if John can fix that. There you go. That's the male victim that Julie sculpted. And he's just, he's just neat. You don't see a lot of figures like this. The, the, the male... Uh, dude in need of, of rescuing. He's got his hands bound. He's about to be uh, killed by the ghoul queen and her, her minions. And the heroine's going to come in and save him. And um, it's just, it, Julie did an amazing job on that guy. I just, it's one of those figures you just don't see a lot of. And I think it's, he's just kind of unique and cool. So, yeah. Um, Bob did. That's going to be my D&D &D you know character what? from here on in. Here's where I screwed up. Here's where I screwed up. This, 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 this one's not included. It's this one. Is included. I'm stupid. Dude, there you go. Duh. I screwed that up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's the heroin. Now you got to include it. Now I got it. Set. Now I got to fix it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so she's going to, but still, she's the heroine. She's still going to rescue the guy. The girl with the torch goes with the shadows over Raven Home, which we'll show right now. We'll go ahead and do that next. Okay. Oh. Put this back over here. Yeah. Stupid. I man. like the altar. The little altar. Yeah, the altar's neat. And there are some other pieces that go with the set. Like I said, we just don't have our, our uh, copies yet. We're going to work on this. Okay. So here's the um, shadows over Raven Home. This is where she goes. She goes with this set. And you get um, her. We can't stand up. One of the pieces is going to be a little troubling to stand I up. I sent you the painted ones of this, of the walls. Oh, yeah. I don't know yeah. if you have them. I, I don't have them handy. Those are, hmm. But those are just some of the pieces in this set. That's not everything. But there's another blood wing. Um, there are three vampire, other vampires that go with the set. Um, and then another piece of terrain, the stairs and the window, which we don't have here either. But uh, these are great little encounters. Whoops, that kind of... Oh, sorry. It's all right. That's just tremendous. So, 
So, so many different ways you could use that. Yeah. That's yeah. The, the cool thing about the encounters. You get some terrain, you get some, some, some characters, you get some monsters, you get some, some fun stuff. We need to so. send some of those terrain pieces to Frank. So you could throw them yeah, in and Reaper yeah. Errant. Yeah. <clears throat> so speaking of encounters, we're going to show you another encounter here. Let's show you these. Anyway, so all these are... Now, the Pledge Manager, we're leaving it open for a little bit longer into 2021, but there are some items we're going to start turning off. Um, so while you'll be able to pick, pick up a lot of stuff, not everything. So um, oh. now I don't have the specific list yet, so if people are asking which ones, I don't have that list yet. Bobby, here's your goats. All right. There's that. Wasn't there, wasn't today a significant day for the pledge manager? Tomorrow. Or did I miss tomorrow is. One? Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. is. Tomorrow okay. is the day when if you've got an initial pledge in, John, can you? Lower it? Yeah. This is one of my favorite pieces in it. I love it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh, that's, oh, that's awesome. Better. Even even if Jackson did do it and it's got the leak is all over it. It's yeah. one of my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so with the deadline for closing or finalizing your pledge if you're an original backer was December the 1st, Tuesday. But with people traveling last week and over the weekend and not being able to get back in time, um, we went ahead and extended it until tomorrow. So if, again, I think people, if you're watching this stream, you probably have already done it. But um, if you know of anyone who hasn't closed their pledge and they're an original backer, they need to get in tomorrow by midnight central time and close their their pledge out. Finalize your pledge. Spend that money you've already spent, you know, or allocate those dollars you've already spent and uh, pick your stuff. Um, if you don't, I mean, it's possible you may not, you may not get what you wanted. If you were the, the backer number one and you didn't finalize your pledge, it's possible that with things closing down, we've already made our final orders, like Ed said last time on Reaper Live, final orders have been placed. If we run out of stuff, then we run out of stuff. So um, when, and it's unfortunate, or, or we may have to shift, uh, shift your shipping wave. So uh, get in there and close things down. I know that a lot of people have gotten on and done that. So uh, progress has been really, really great, but uh, still a couple more so days to go. Close now, them now, but you can still. Yeah, for now that's for, that's for original backers who have already made their pledges, right? Or already kicked, pledged in the Kickstarter. If you're brand new, if today's your first time seeing this, you want to get in, no problem. Go log into the pledge manager, make an, an account, and just start, you know, pick stuff like you're brand new to the, to the Kickstarter. Um, everything's still available. We haven't closed anything down yet. Some of the first things we will probably start uh, locking down are going to be the extras. So if you want extra uh, overgourds, extra boulderkin, um, you know, extra monsters, the extra dragons, things like that, extra gym dragon, those are probably going to be the first things to go. Um, the box sets, and some of the options will be some of the things that will be closed later on. But as we get, as our quantities start depleting, as we get close to the, to, the, to the end, we'll be locking those down as well. But the first ones will probably be the extras. So anyway, Bobby, good job on this. I'm glad you uh, yeah. fixed your, your, I'm glad your, your he fixed bridge. The, the cobblestones on the yeah. bridge. Yeah, was I was going to say, it there. would only be <laughs> fair for you to point out the nice, even stone texture on that bridge, Ron. They're beautiful. The stones yeah. are beautiful. You did a good job. Yeah. Good job, Bobby. Great job. <laughs> uh, Why, but this, this is a fun little set. I wrote a little vignette about this little thing. It inspired me so much. Then I decided made... to get those goats so that my little <laughs> cavemen from Last Bones can kill them. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's show. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's the big daddy. Let's show this guy. Let's yeah. show this guy. Oh, my gosh. Oh. This is awesome. That is awesome. Man, yeah. first, first time I sit out. Oh, it's see-through, too. Oh, it's transparent, um, too. Yeah. I'm going to have to put some wow, of this stuff I didn't realize how good that was. on the back because yeah. I just can't How'd fit it How'd you do that, all. Jason? It goes translucent just, translucent just for a second, and then it goes solid again. I, I, uh, I dynameshed at a really low resolution, so that there weren't as many pixels. Uh, so when it was printed, no. it printed you know, translucent, Genius. even though it's solid. There you, you didn't know you could do that, did you? It's yeah. on one of the That's switches genius. or the buttons, as you guys like to call them. Yeah. It's right All next right. to the cloth button. So I, I like you get that, the, you get the, about that. the snow leopards. There's the two snow leopards. They're probably blocking our, our little dwarf guy. Um, yeah. Those are cool. They're really great. That's cool. Yeah. So um, is that going to... 
get made into a little play set as well with a little yeah. box and everything? Yeah, it'll be a little box that. at That's some cool. point. Yeah. Um, this guy's getting block two that thing is that looks really good in that material too that's that's really sharp i and then there's one little bit here here's all the uh here's these little things this is the uh, sprue that you get i can't it's oh yeah um it's got the the hand the head the yeti head a cup and uh, what else is on there don't whatever the thing is i don't remember what it is a candle Uh, shrine candle yeah yeah that shrine is really cool the shrine is cool jason because you didn't just sculpt it to be used with this set specifically, right? Right. Yeah, well, I like to have stuff be multi-use for sure. Yeah. And uh, now with the bits, you can take the bits, you can glue them onto the altar, you can just glue them wherever you want to. But the altar, it's got a lot of candles and stuff already on it, a lot of detail in it. But you can use that for other scenarios. So you don't have to keep it specifically for the Yeti, the Yeti uh, encounter. Um, what material is this guy? This is in Bones. Classic. The the this this thing is in is in Bones Classic. The characters are in Bones Black. Hmm. Yeah. Now the little uh, the Yeti uh, warning shrine or the warning totem. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Yeah. yeah. That is cool. Originally, Jason had sculpted it about what is it, about 40, 38, or forty millimeters high. Yeah, Jason? we yeah we were trying to figure out what size because you had seen a similar. One in your in your many travels to the Himalayas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. You were trying to remember how tall it was. Yeah. yeah so I we had trip to Shangri La. I think you were drunk on that native drink that they served. That's them. what it was, and it's or about oxygen deficiency. I think this was about sixty millimeters tall. I think I don't quite remember. I believe it's about. Will you be tip able to, to get the shrine or the Yetis or the snow leopards individually at some point? Right or? now, it's doubtful. It's probably doubtful. Okay. Um, oh, I think the only way you're going to be able to get... the dwarf, though. He's a little dwarf with the... The dwarf is cool. Possible. Some of these may be able, available single. Like, I mean, it's very possible the Yeti may be available as a set. Um, yeah. the, dra- the, the, the snow leopards are available as a set. Huh? What? Measure. measure what? Oh, the, the thing? Uh, the, the, the totem? We can measure that. Here you go, John. I'll pitch it John's to you. John's going to measure your thing. <laughs> He's going to measure my totem. Um, oh, okay. And Daryl glued all these together for me. So, uh, yeah, I mean, and I'm telling you, it's a steal. I think, it, I think it's $20 in the Pledge Manager now, this set. I don't quite remember, but, dude, Darryl it's Pass is so, glue, Sculpts and so, glues? And glues. He's a triple threat. Yeah, he's, he's a gluer. He's a glue? Damn. Daryl's one he's of the best triple. gluers in the Western Hemisphere. I don't remember what, <laughs> someone could probably tell me in chat what the price is, but dang. This is, how That's tall awesome. is it, John? Two and a half inches. So it's about two and a half inches. The, the total is about two and a half inches tall. Um, yeah, that's badass. Yeah. That's just badass. That's awesome. Uh, get it now in the pledge manager at the low price that it's available because it's not going to be that low later. Mm-hmm. Um, Imagine really, that really was good some snow effects all yeah. over it. Yeah. 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 All right. So I got another encounter I want to show you guys. Whoops. Oh no. Hey, guess what? <laughs> They're bones. They don't break. Here we go. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, well go. done. Product. Here. Now they don't have any swords on them. So you're lucky. Yes, yeah. and uh, we'll leave that guy over there for now. Here we go. Put this guy over here. Um, I, I love dwarf stuff. I really, really love dwarf stuff. Um, and Tom Mason's encounter in the Dwarf King's Crypt is just amazing. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. And we're missing the, uh, the eternal, ever-living flame piece. I don't have that over here. Look at all those great bits, just what you got on there. Yeah, just right there. Those, should, those are super. So you're going to get um, all these dwarves, right? And then you get the, yeah. the dwarven zombie thanes. And then you get uh, old King Durnan himself, Mad King Durnan. So Man. there's a story that goes behind this. I'll, I'll tell you guys later. Um, but yeah, old King Durnham went mad and buried with his dwarven thanes, and then he yeah, rose as a ghost. So, dang, well, we're going to put this guy. Here we go. So, yeah, and there, like I said, the, the last thing that's missing is the eternal or the ever living flame piece. I love the statue. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a, a shades Bones of. Black um, or? Hmm? Bones what? Black? Bones Black. Bones Black. Most of the models in the Kickstarter are in Bones Black. 
Um, there are a few pieces, though, some larger pieces are in Bones Classic, but every piece you see here on the table is Bones Black. Even though uh, the Dwarf King here is in a stiffer, much stiffer plastic, clear Bones Black. Uh, the Dwarven Thanes, when they're, they're, the zombie guys, once they're painted up, they're... That's yeah. One. yeah, it's backwards. Um, they're, they're just cool. And the cool thing is, again, you can take apart the, um, there's the old ah, dwarf yeah, king. That's cool. That. Let's see. And he comes out too. So if you'd want to, you can have an empty, empty crypt. Or you can have just the corpse of a dead dwarf king laying there as well. Very so diversity. there you go. Very diverse. This is going to be a box set as well. So uh, this summer or summer 2020, you'll probably see a box of the Dwarf King's Crypt come out um, with all this stuff in there. Yeah, I mean, it That's gives cool. me good old D&D &D vibes is what this does. So, mm. yeah, lots of fun stuff. All right, okay. All right, chat, what do you want to see next? Just let us know. Well, uh, someone still had a request in for the Wall of Thorns if it's on the table. Um, it's, look, all right, tell you what, when, we, uh, when I put this next thing down, I'll go grab the Wall of Thorns if I can find it, because we had it on there last week, and I took it down. I oh, just well, show I the, think... the gate. Show the gate. Show Kevin's gate. Okay, yeah, we'll do Somebody that. Somebody wants to see yeah. the Ronning Man. No, nope, we're not going to show that today. Oh, let's show the Ronning Man. Unless Justin shows it. And when he, when he do we get to, we don't we get to see it? it? We don't want to do that. I don't have it queued up, but I wish I did. Shell? Is spike shells? I haven't seen spike shells. Yeah, I'll show you the spike shell, too. Lots of people uh, are asking for mouselings. I'll show you those too. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Why, there are some mouselings right there. No, those aren't mouselings. Now, this isn't the complete uh, encounter at Galagard. This is just part of it because we don't have all the skeletons yet. So, Kevin sculpted the ruins of the Galagard gate and the skeletons, and we're missing. Uh, Lord Karastan, the undead knight on his horse. And then there's Bobby's uh, ranger, Schumacher, based on a, a fellow we used to know at Gen Con. Remember Jim Schumacher, Bobby? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember him? Yep. That figure is kind of loosely based on old Jim. So, uh, yeah. So there you go. So the, this is the, the story is, you know, uh, there have been rumors of some stuff going on at uh, uh, the old castle of Galagard. And so the king sends his ranger, Schumacher, to go spy on the castle and see what's going on in those ruins. And as he's checking it out, the drawbridge opens and out rumbles Lord Karastan and his undead followers. And they, bad things happen after that. So there you go. Uh, I'm not going to show the spider scene today because we don't have the parts. I think a lot of those parts are going to be here on Monday. So next Friday we'll show those. So How about the Mephits? The Mephits? I only have one yeah. over here. I don't have the, the whole set. Um, we're going to do this again next Friday. So instead of bi-weekly, we're okay. going to go every week here pretty soon. Let me see if I can find the, um, y'all you know, keep looking at that. Talk amongst yourselves while I go look for the wall of thorns. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, what? Okay. Yeah. Uh, you want to put it on the turn, the wheel here while we're waiting for that. Hold on a second here. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he's working it. <laughs> That's why, well, never mind. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was just about to violate what is that uh, Ron went to the restroom. I'm looking for the Wall of Thorns. Oh. Don't. Uh -oh. Oh, they're in there good. That's the henchman out. There we go. There's the ten foot pole. Oh henchman. man, that little that little wheelbarrow turned out good. Yeah. That's a good way to present them. Oh, what happened to the lantern bearer, Ron? I told you I broke the damn thing because someone sculpted it too thin. It's like a hair. Who did that? Dead gum. Can we turn the turn the thing off? Can we just? Unbelievable. Oh. There. You want to get it or here? Here. That's, okay. that's that's all right, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. 
So instead of using my plastic samples, I use my PU samples, which are a brittle resin, and I snapped her stupid lantern off. Ugh, so irritating. Um, I also That's snapped sad. off. I snapped off the crossbow girl. She's got something on her back, or her sword handle, I think. And I think I snapped that off yeah. too. <laughs> so it's broken as well. Wow. Yours will come unbroken, I hope. So don't worry about it. Yeah, the wheelbarrow girl turned out great. Again. Just don't let Ron near him. You'll be okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So in the Kickstarter. And the you 10 can... foot pole guy. Look at that. That's great. Yeah. The 10 foot pole is not even curly. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Um, these are in Bones oh. Black. Um, in the cool. Kickstarter, you can purchase the Hinch Men, which is eight of those figures, and the Hinch Women. There are two different sets. This set here is going to be post Kickstarter. This is when you go into your favorite local gaming store, you want to buy these guys, you'll be able to buy them as a full set. So, really neat. Yeah. I'm tickled by these guys. Uh, tickled. Oh, yeah, tickled. Here we go. Here's this. Here's what it's you want to see. It's that 10 foot pole guy. He's reaching yeah, out he's to get tickling you. Ron. There you go. There's he's your Wall of Thorns. Who wanted to see the Wall of Thorns? Ah, but I'll tell you what, those henchmen, you better give them in the Kickstarter and the pledge manager because um, in the store, they're not going to be as uh, a, a good of value as you're going to get in the, in the Kickstarter. Although you should always support your local gaming store for sure. Sending mixed messages right there. I know. I can't help it. No, you buy um, one and then you get another one. Very simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now the wall of thorns, this comes in the spell. This comes in the core set. Uh, if you bought the spell effects, Extras, you'll get extra, uh, an extra wall of thorns, an extra wall of stone, and some of the other uh, items that are the spell effects. Or right now, you can buy a set of wall of thorns. I think, I think you get four in a set as a, as a separate item. And we don't have the wall of stone in handy either. But um, Kevin sculpted the wall of thorns. Really neat. It comes in about, I think it's two or three pieces. So, but he Does did it. Did it pre-assembled or can I you? don't know. Your core set stuff's going to become unassembled. So you'll need to assemble it all. Oh, However, that's cool. It's so easy to put together. Uh, they're in, well, all that, this stuff's that, that'd in make so it well. very versatile. If you get four, you can make them all look different. Yeah. Now, they only go together one particular way, but if you're crafting, like some people I know, you can make well, a, whole, you know. a, whole, a whole castle of thorns if you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Let's show. Actually, Ron, what's that, what's that one right there next to the, the disapproving hands? Um, it's right yeah, <laughs> down, no, to the... Okay, all right. Get that crap off there. <laughs> Someone clip that. Yeah. Uh -oh. Somebody clip that. Uh, okay, this will be neat because we've got a light, our light on our... Uh, look at that. Look at that. It's the oh, jellyfish like the from Dark Depths. <laughs> the jellyfish. Yep. Hey, so uh, Justin. Yes. You got the, the Dark Depths box, right? You got the video of that? Uh, that's a mm. weird request, but sure. <laughs> How weird is it? It's not uh, that weird. I know I don't have a video of a box. Yes, you do. Uh, and that's Come on. Dark and Hold on. Is it? It's the, it's the only video I sent you today. We already watched it once. Oh, that with one. That it's video. with the hands. Oh, the one you shot in uh, at 460p. I didn't shoot that at all. Those are not my, my small little hands. They look like your small little They're hands. They're not my small little hands. But they look like your small little hands. <laughs> Those are Catherine's small little petite hands. Oh, well, then they shot it at 460p. Okay, well, there she is. There's Catherine. She's uh, uh, modeling the Dark Depths box. Uh, look at that. That's so cool. That's really cool. Ooh, there's the Jen oh, Greenwald mermaid. Yeah. yeah. There's the Michael Proctor sea giant. There's some generic uh, text on the top. Um, <laughs> some disclaimers on the bottom. Yeah, I made that barcode. Um, no. Yeah. Um, there's a little QR code on all the boxes this year. Uh, John made my QR code. And so if you scan that, once you get your, your boxes during film, if you scan that, it's going to take you to a special secret page on the ReaperMini.com website. And that will give you a lots of uh, Kickstarter goodies like painting guides, Proctor, um, adventures, Bobby. Um, painting uh, guides? Who's yeah. writing those? Uh, I'm sure I can find someone to do it. Um, and uh, which one do you? Which one? Which one? When you scan it, gets you rickrolled? Uh, they're all the same. So probably, <laughs> probably, uh, it's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Um, hopefully, it won't take you to the Rotting Man. That would be horrible. Oh, don't get any funny. Oh, ideas. even better. Don't get any funny ideas. Yeah. Um, get right. rickrolled. So 
the jellyfish that we just showed you is in the dark depths box set. Man, I'm telling you, that's the steal of the Kickstarter. All the box sets are great values. They're all great values, but darkest depths or dark depths, dude, we, over, we underpriced that. We should have made two boxes out of that and, and charged the, the, the same price. But wait, there's more. What, uh, there is? No, I'm oh, just saying. I thought maybe you were actually going to show something different. No. You were, you were just doing... Uh, funny TV guy. Okay, these are the nice. three of the siege engines, the catapult, the trebuchet, and the ballista. Let's get some scale. Let's get some scale. We're going to put this guy here for scale. There you go. You guys should just have a box of Sir 4 scales in the studio. I know. I know. It's just unbelievable. Look. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Ron should have one on his keychain. <laughs> what in the just... world? They make me little miniatures. You can just cast four of them. I just don't understand. Shush. Damn. <laughs> um, well, let's go this way. The business end. Um, yeah, those are neat. These little siege engines, really neat. Who did those? Chris Lewis did all these. Thanks for asking. Awesome. Chris Lewis did all those. Awesome. Those are great. Um, very neat. All right, mouselings. People want to see the mouselings. The fun size mouselings. We're going to show those guys. Let's About pick time. these guys up. I know. I called dibs on those a long time ago, and I haven't seen them yet. Well, um, just look. <laughs> just kind you of can't keep stuff. up with your dibs. Can't. Can't keep up with the dibs. <laughs> That's, true. That's true. All just right. Just trying to help. Yeah, you better leave that guy on there for scale so people know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're yeah. Right. No, these are just normal size mouselings that we're passing off as yeah. the. Uh... No, these are fun size mouselings. These are fun size mouselings. These mouslings. are the fun size. Man, Gene, these are the best mouselings you've ever done. I love the rogue. The rogue mousling <laughs> there. He's so cool. He's so fun. Um, there's Ogana, the Savannah Ranger for scale. The wizard's neat. Uh, yeah, Gene, these are, these are the best ones so far. I really like they these were guys. Fun. Thanks. Yeah. They're neat. They're, they're really great neat. scale. They're fun. You That's why they're do, fun doing size. these scales going right. forward. Yeah. yeah, a great scale for future. For mousings. for complete sake, completeness sake, for the people out there who have the old mousings and they're like, I want old mousings in the old scale. We'll probably put these guys out in metal at some point in the old mousing scale, but I think any new mousings that come out in the future are probably going to be in plastic at this size. That's awesome. Um, whether that be bones. Bones Black, Bones USA, whatever it may be. So yeah, those are there's your mouselings. Hoping they're they're really great. Let's see. Do we have a bug lips? Or no? Awesome. We we don't have the bug lip bug lip. We don't have the bug lips figure here. It's 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 around. I just don't have it today. We'll show that next Friday. We'll show bug lips. Um, what about these uh, pictures you sent me? Let's do it. Let's just show some pictures. Let's show okay. some pictures. Do you care what order or no? I don't even remember what I sent you, but let's go ahead. Oh, fantastic. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. All right. So these are the, this is an, an actual production photograph of the ship. Now, I said last night we're getting castings of this, the, the first shots are going to be of the ship. They hopefully they would be here today. They didn't make it. They're going to be here Monday. So that means next week when you guys tune into the show, we're going to show you actual production models of the ship. The pirate ship. Now, it's not the glow in the dark version, it's just the, the regular version. But here's the uh, hippocampus um, figurehead. Okay, what do we got next? There's the side view of the ship. You can see the cannons on the deck. You can see uh, the ones in front there. Okay. Uh, now, yes, they put the, the, the masts on backwards, I know. Um, but uh, whatever, it's fine. They're not, they're, they're gonna, you're going to assemble this thing yourself, so you can take, take them off, turn them off. There, the plan is, as far as I'm aware, uh, going to be magnets just like these. Um, so rare earth magnets, so they'll snap right on and uh, lock into place. You can see the uh, figurehead there. There you go. And then I think we've got one of the Grim Reaper figurehead. Oh, um, more of those. Hold on. So there, there, there he is. There's, so now the Grim Reaper figurehead is oh, only in glow cool. in the dark. You can't get him in gray. He's only in glow in the dark. The uh, ship, when you get the ship, the glow-in-the-dark ship, you, you'll automatically get the Grim Reaper glow-in-the-dark to go with your glow-in-the-dark ship. So, the, so, in other words, the gray ship comes with the Pirate Maiden, the glow-in-the-dark ship comes with the, the, the Grim Reaper, and the Hippocampus is an extra one you can eat, add to either one, but it's only in gray as well. So, there you go. 
This is a little bit of an assembly. Um, right now, if you can, you can see the, you have the poop deck, you're going to have the upper deck, which is in three parts. You can see the two braces, which snap the, the, the two levels together. And then that one support on the bottom level, which snaps those pieces together. Um, that's the way it is right now. We are looking at potentially maybe uh, having this pre-done, but um, who knows? Though I don't have any news on that today, but by next Friday we might. So anyway, it's kind of a, the way it looks, looks like it's going to be assembled. There you go. All right. Okay, now uh, Michael's working on the oh. earth scion and the uh, water scion. This is the air scion work in progress by Michael Kleeman. Um, mm -hmm. He was trying to have it finished today, but just a little bit short there, but uh, looks great. That MMM that he's got going on those, uh, on the gold areas are great. The jewels look great. Bobby, you sculpted this. What do you think? Love it. Excuse me? It's fantastic. Love, love, love it. it. You, you glitched out there for a second. Yeah, looks great. Uh, when we get the finished model, or the finished version, uh, we'll show that. It'll be done by next week, I'm sure. Um, and then yeah, Michael's working on cool. his, and Rhonda's working on hers, and that, the four together are going to make a, a fantastic set. Oh, yeah. So, there you go. Those are that's big. There's the yeah. yokai. What's, what would you say, just, uh, Bobby? I said that is, that is a big figure, like the, I mean, that's not a... Yeah, he's 75 millimeters. Yeah, he's big. He's really big. Um, Justin, have you got the pictures from the boxes from Reaper Live last night? Uh, let me see. Let me pull it up. Okay. I have them. Uh -oh, somebody, them. somebody called nipple on him. <laughs> nipple? The genie's yeah. nipple. Oh, the genie has a nipple. I mean, that's, they're not wrong. It's a man nipple. Uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, Oracle of Death says, wait, is one of the yokai an elephant? Jason, it's not an elephant per se. It's a... Um, it's Baku. It? Baku. It's Baku. There you go, Ron. Okay, there's the Greek Odyssey set. I left my guidelines on when I did the screenshot, so... Ignore the little blue lines. But there's the Greek Odyssey box. Uh, the Hydra by Julie Guthrie on the front. Um, the Bronze Golem by Chris Lewis. Do you see that there on the right? Painted by uh, Michael. Uh, Rhonda painted the Hydra. So there's the, uh, the Greek Odyssey box. Let's see what else we got. There's That's the Brynwyn box. You can see the art by Izzy on the front and the uh, skeletons by David Cecil there on the side. David, David Cecil was geeking out. He's so happy to was get he? some stuff on the side of the box. Yeah, he, he sent me a, he sent me a message this morning. He was he was uh, he seemed to be pretty happy. Um, yeah, it's a big that's, deal. That's awesome. Yeah, and then here's the fan favorites box Ooh. with uh, Gene. There's that's your awesome. demonic lasher painted by Michael again. Oh, and then Michael's got quite a collection of boxes in his office now. Um, with all yep. the box art he's done, and then you can see on the side there, there's Ungorth by Bob Rodolfi painted by Liz Beckley. Um, uh -huh. I was pleased when I started to go look for painted models to put on the boxes. I was like, man, I got to find some painted stuff uh, with no time, you know, because everyone's painting other stuff. And I happen to have yeah, two models planning, in our gallery. You know, I know, was, well, you know, I've only had a year, Michael. Word planning. You know, I've only it. had a year. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but hey, all's well that ends well. Worked out great. So some fantastic right. stuff on the box. Well, let's see. How far are you into the repackaging process for Maldricar? Uh Next question. Um, <laughs> cat folk. <laughs> uh, the cat folk aren't on the table right now. They were here last week. Um, we took them off. Um, yeah, I don't have those up here. Sorry. Sorry, I don't have the cat. You want to show those? Here's two of the ones we can show. This is one of the ones that Michael's working on, the water and then fire that yeah. Rhonda's working on. Rhonda's going to kill her version. That's a, well, that's a, she nice painted the uh, female Ifrit last year for yeah. Bones 4. And, yeah, just killed it. And so I imagine that um, the male version is going to just slay. Um, let's see, what have we got up here? There's a lot of cool stuff. I mean, there's just so much neat stuff in this Kickstarter. Um, and we showed a lot of stuff last week. Um, we'll be working on the water scion for uh, on the crow's nest next week. You can do on the crow's nest? Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any of the far brine far. goblins, Ron? Uh, they're, again, they're here. I just don't have them on the table. Um, okay. I believe okay. that at th by this point, um, no, we don't have everything. I think Monday we're getting, I think, one of the dragons along with the ship. Hmm. This guy's neat. Boom. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's cool. Yep. Izzy designed this. Jason sculpted it. Sounds like Proctor's going to be painting it. <laughs> well, so, he would look great on the side I of the like box. That. Always. Yeah, he would have. He would have. Man, he that should be Gooseneck. Yeah. He's neat. <laughs> Gooseneck's not a turtle. Uh, Gooseneck's uh, grandpa. Yeah. He just looks yeah. ferocious and cool. He is cool. Oh. That, that should, should be gooseneck. gooseneck. That's gooseneck right there. What do I know? You even know what a gooseneck is? I do know what a Ron? gooseneck is, yes. What is it? Do you what know what they're gooseneck? used for? It's Gene's lizard man. Fire. <laughs> it's a trailer. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot more of the stuff. Uh, let's see. What about Somebody the Somebody wants to see siege weapons on the deck of the ship. They've asked that three times now. Siege weapons on the deck of the ship. Okay. Because I think they want to know what they'll fit. They, I don't think they're, they're great for, for what they're talking about. Um, here's, here, listen, here's this guy. I'm putting him here far. You guys saw that it. ship's right. so big you can fit a trailer on it, though. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Um, Thank you for the raid, deck flow. All right. It, look, this is a, this is a trailer, trailer house, and it can fit on the, the ship. There's a bronze gold. That's why I said that. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what I'm Michael sorry. I was, said. Oh, you're right. You're right. right. You did. Sorry. Hey, I got a lot of things on my mind right now. All right. Let's the put sea this... giant can fit on the ship? Yeah. yeah. That's pretty impressive. That thing is huge. So the ballista can fit, right? But it's not really scaled to, to do that. But it'll fit. It'll go. Um, the, the catapult will fit. Now, Izzy designed a specifically a pirate ballista to fit on the ship it was a really cool dragon headed ballista it's a much smaller one sort of a, a more accurately historically scaled one this these are sort of fun chunky over the top ridiculous fantasy siege weapons um but the izzy did design a small one and we we thought about going and getting that one done but we just we just haven't had time to do it yet but we'll probably do that in the future here's michael collins um all right, let's see. So let's see what else. Let me do this real quick. Someone asked about this. Watch me just break things all to hell. Ready? Cameras are rolling, so it's as good a time as any to do this, right? Um, so, whoops, there it goes. See, now rare earth magnets, hold these on. Oh, sorry, hold them on like that. So these just come right off. So there's those. And then when you get your ship, the way it's working now, uh, the poop up will, will come off. And then the, uh, the next layer will come off too in one piece. Just like that. So that's the way the, the, the things are planned to work this time. So you can that's see really there's cool. the deck. And let's see. You can reassemble it back into like a spy rifle, can't you? Yes. And there it is. Wow. And that floats. Yeah. I'll hold up to uh, 50 pounds. No. One on each. They can uh, put your little urn in there for your little Viking funeral, Michael. Yeah. yeah. And then light it on fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so this is, is the way. It. It'll hold your chips and dip, that's for sure. This is the way that Chris designed oh, yeah. this. Uh, on Monday, we are getting an actual production copy. So uh, if you're waiting to see what the sh how the ship actually performs, an actual production copy. Um, you might want to. You could probably wait till Monday if you're if you're sort of on the fence of whether you're going to order one of these order one of these things based on whether it's a usable, playable thing. Um, it is at this point, but Monday we're going to show you, or next Friday we'll show you. We'll, and maybe we'll show it on Monday. Um, we will uh, show you an actual production copy of the ship and how it all fits together, and how it all works, and things like that. So. Um, and it is not cardboard. No. no. Can you imagine uh, that all up deal. with sales on it and the whole deal? Oh yeah. my gosh. So you can send it over to me and we'll find show a it off. Bottle on the big up that end. And it's just really. Actually, you know where one of these would go perfect? On Reaper Errand. Oh. Yes. Oh yeah. my gosh. That'd be great. <laughs> before, yes, we we get to the, before we get to the ship part of our adventure. Yeah. And you have, look. Turn those masks around. Turn those masks around. And then you got, the look, back on. And you got barrels for your ship. You got all kinds of stuff. Look, Bones 5 is a treasure trove of stuff 
for your role playing games and your tabletop games. So, Thank you yeah, you're violating a lot of stuff today with those barrels. There's not a better deal on the planet right now. Yeah, and I've looked everywhere. Yeah, some fun <laughs> stuff. Fun stuff. So I think, uh, hey, Justin, there's one more picture I sent you. Uh, it was okay. not an it was not an attachment to that email. It was actually in the body of the email. Okay, let me see. The running man one. No, it wasn't that. <laughs> it was a Ron bet. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. This is a work in pro another work in progress shot. This is from Mocha Schultz, Michael Mocha Schultz. She's working on the dragon for the Dungeon Dwellers box. And she sent me her work in progress. And since then, since we've been on the air, she's actually sent me the final shots. But um, we'll show you those later. So there's the, ah. the little dragon. That's cool. Great. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Good so job. she's been working on that, slaving away, trying to get it finished before the show. But we, Mocha, if you're watching. You gave her plenty of time to work on this. I I'm did. Sure. I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. How long? Yeah, was it a day? Was it less than a day? It was three days. I mean, how long does it take to paint a dragon? Uh, so, there you go. Yeah, but uh, Mocha is super talented and such a great person. Um, yeah. It's great to have her Easy paint to work something. with, too. She's Much easier uh, to work with than your normal stable. <laughs> For sure. All right, someone <laughs> wanted to see the mermaids. Oops, sorry, Treasure Golem. Uh, yeah, so these are going to uh, Jen Greenwald. You keep Oops. saying that. Good catch, John. I know. Well, because she's going to get them. Man, I love these. I love these mermaids. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Merman, Ron. Merman. Merfolk. Mer um, again, this is not all of them. This is just some of them. It's the ones I happen to have handy. Oh, there's one more. With clothes on. She's, the, she's got close. Um, there you go. There are one, two, there are six, right, Bobby? Is that right? One, two, three, four. I don't remember. Seven. I think there's seven. You're, yeah, you're missing the um, one, fem two females, right? The king is missing. The, the, the queen oh, the king, is missing. The queen and uh, there's another... There's another. Is there one that mermaid. had a modesty question or something? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's the, the princess. Way. Yeah. There's the seven, the... eight. There's a bunch. They're really cool. You should get them all. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. We did put up the overgourd earlier. We can put it up again. Uh, Are you going to put up all those henchmen, Ron? I mean, not the henchmen, the townsfolk. Oh yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. Here, let me do the the overgourd while we're getting the overgourd. We'll shoot him one more time. And I'll get the, all these townsfolk ready. My goodness, there's a lot of townsfolk here. How about yeah, the mammoth man? Uh, we can show him next week. I, I have him, but okay. we don't, just don't have him yet. But yeah, I he's a great one for the, for the fan favorites. We'll go ahead and put these guys up. A lot of She's people cool. hear us asking to see our own miniatures. Cool. It's because we haven't seen them until now. He's cool. So this is this is yeah, jazzy. He's it's not cool. You know, I mean, we print a lot of stuff, um, and then Bob and Julie, you know, they'll send in they'll send in physical models, but we don't have time all the time to just uh, just print stuff just to have it just to sort of oh, laying sure. around. So we're constantly working on just getting the next thing done. Um, there's always reprints and reworks, and you know, we've been going through that this week. There's your children of the overgourd module right there. There you go. <laughs> so these are the townsfolk. There's 20 of these guys, right, Bobby? 20? 20 of them, yeah. I think it's 20 bucks for the set. That's a steal. Yeah, Let me buck a guy. Do the math real quick. So, yeah, a <laughs> dollar a guy. There you go. There's all 20 of them. Well, a dollar a kid, cool. a dollar a, a gal. A dude, I mean, a dollar a, a, a townsperson, townsfolk person. Yeah, yeah. Cheapest Can't town you'll it. ever see. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Get them in the pledge manager while you can. Again, even though the pledge manager will be extended into January, we will be turning some of these items off. So as our final quantities have been ordered, 
Um, and we did pad our numbers because we thought, well, we know people are going to order extras. As we get closer to that, that, that buffer running out, we'll, we're going to have to close some of these numbers off. So get everything. Get your yokai, your dragon folk, your rune whites. Get your demonic temptation. Get your henchmen. Uh, get all that your stuff. Goat. Get your goats. Get all that stuff while you can. Um, it's because the Kickstarter price is such a good deal. To write, inspire you to write your own RPG adventures around them. I mean, yeah. just looking at them set up, there's all kinds of ideas. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a Frank. so lots of cool stuff. So yeah, hope you guys have uh, gotten in and added your stuff. And like I said, you can still add stuff. Go in there right now, add some stuff on. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to put in the Kickstarter update tonight. I hope to figure out something really soon. Um, do you know when yes. the pirate ship is being turned off? Uh, don't know just yet. I mean, I would imagine it would be a couple weeks, but I would hope that people might hold off until at least next Friday uh, before, or not, not not holding off ordering it. But um, if people are more interested, or if they're waiting to see what the pirate ship's going to be like as an actual production piece, wait till next week. We're going to show the actual production models next week. So. It, it's again the photographs I've seen. It looks really, really great. So I'm excited to get the actual production model. Uh, yes, these are all going to be out in retail at some point. The pirate ship, maybe not, because it's such an expensive item to order. This may be the only time you have to get it. So, or the only time, the only opportunity you're going to have to get it. Um, don't <clears throat> quote me on that, but it's possible. So, um, look. So. Uh, a lot of stuff to think about, a lot of stuff to go look at. So uh, we are closing in on the on the, the on quitting time here. So we've got to wrap things up, um, guys. Thanks for for joining me today. You always make things a lot easier for me and um, move things along. You sure uh, about that? We make it easier, or <laughs> just that's not our objective. Just being yeah. polite. Just Don't mean it. Just being polite. Uh, <laughs> your average day must be really difficult if we're making it easier. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting view. Yeah, we don't want to see that. Yeah. Uh, so, um, all right, well, so next Friday we're going to be here again. So we'll do another update Friday. Um, we'll show more stuff, some of the things we haven't gotten to. Uh, we'll keep showing things you guys ask about. And get in there. If you haven't closed your pledge let, uh, yet and you're an original backer, go do that. And if you just want to add more who's, stuff, keep who's going. Who's around on the floor and getting that angle on you? That was John. He's not on the floor. He's over behind yeah, the camera yeah, working hard. So, uh, all right. Working those angles. Take us out with a cool shot of those towns, folk. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some Here. goats in there, too. Can, hey, can okay. we yeah, see the townsfolk? The... Put Here. the townsfolk on Mandapar Pass and then put that on the pirate ship. <laughs> with lots of red paint. All right, that's enough. There you go. There's that's, your goats and your enough. townsfolk. And... Oh, there you go. And this is fantastic. This makes Bones 5 worthwhile. <laughs> right here. Finally, something to make it Finally. worthwhile. It Finally. was the goats and the townsfolk. You have met the standard, Hawkins. <laughs> yeah, thanks for all the help. I appreciate it. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next Friday and be looking for a Kickstarter update sometime tonight. And um, we'll see you in the Pledge Manager. All right.